Hi guys, so in this video I'm going to show you how to deploy a PHP and MySQL site to Heroku and can then configure the database with PHP My Admin. Okay, so first of all, uh, what we need to do is make sure you've got an account on Heroku. So if you haven't, uh, click this link here and sign up to Heroku or log in. Uh, I'm already logged in, so I don't need to do that. And then download the Heroku uh, CLI tools. So that's going to allow you to write Heroku commands from the command line. Um, so go over here and install for Mac or Windows, whichever you've got. I downloaded this one, but I don't need to do that because I've already done it. Okay, so next of all, next thing to do is to open up your project folder. Uh, and I'm using VS Code, so I'm just going to open up a blank P8, uh, uh, VS Code here. And I'm just going to open folder, and I'm going to create a new folder. So if, we, if you go over to your C drive, and then... XAMPP. If you don't have XAMPP, you can download it here. So go over to just Google XAMPP download, and then you can download any one of these. Um, my I'm using PHP version seven, so any one of these is fine though. And then what we need to do is go over to our XAMPP uh, folder, then go into HT Docs, and create your project in here. So I'm going to call uh, create a new folder in here and I'm going to call it Heroku Tutorial okay so select that folder open it up in VS Code and then we need to log into Heroku from the terminal so I'm using VS Code's uh, integrated terminal here go up to terminal new terminal and I'm just going to type in Heroku log in, enter and that's going to allow us to log in to Heroku it's going to open up a browser, log in and there we go, I'm logged in, okay so now we can close that down and we are logged in, okay so next we need to do, next thing we need to do is create an initial PHP file and this is the file that we're going to deploy. So this is like a little sort of test file for this tutorial. So I'm just going to go into the project to create a new file called index.php. And in here, uh, I'm just going to just going to create some PHP tags, and uh, we're just going to echo. Hello there, Heroku. Danny here. Okay, so save that. And that is all we're gonna that's what we're gonna deploy to Heroku. Okay, so then we're gonna we need to create a composer.json file. So every PHP project is required to have one of these when you're deploying to Heroku. So go into the root of your project and create a composer.json file. Okay, and that's all you need to do, you just need to create it. So then what we need to do is we can need to um, initialize a git repository and add everything, then commit. And we need a git repository because uh, uh, Heroku requires you to have one of these in order to uh, deploy to it. So we're just gonna, just gonna copy these commands in here. We're gonna add everything. And we're going to commit everything to Git. Okay. Now for the Heroku stuff. So we now we now need to create an Heroku project, and uh, a lot of people seem to do this through the command line, but I prefer to use the Heroku sort of dashboard or website, whatever you want to call it. So log into Heroku and go to your apps dashboard and then click create new app so this is my apps dashboard these are previous projects that I've done uh, you don't need, you may have an empty these this may be empty if you've never made an Heroku project before so we're just gonna go over to new create new app and uh, what did I call this before let's see Danny's tutorial app let's see if that's available is that available yes it is 
and I'm just going to click Europe because I'm in Europe. I'm going to create the app. Okay, so the app has now been created. Okay, and now we need to push the app to Heroku. So we need to tell the remote Heroku repository that we want to push to um, this um, app here. So let's just copy and paste this in. You're going to need to use your own app name. I think it's somewhere on here actually. Um, yeah, so just copy this command, pop it into your command line, and that's going to uh, set the uh, remote repository as this uh, Heroku URL. So, next thing we need to deploy to Heroku, so we can just use this get push Heroku main. and then Heroku will provide you with the URL to your app. Okay, so once all this is done, we'll get this URL. Okay, there it is. So I'm just gonna press Control and left click, open it up, and there we go. So that's our PHP pile, uh, file deployed to Heroku. Okay, so that's good. And now we need to add a MySQL database, okay? So we're going to go to our apps dashboard. So I'm just going to click this link here. I'm going to go to our apps dashboard, and I'm going to select the uh, the app that we just deployed. Okay. Then you're going to click resources and add the clear DB add-on. Okay. So we're going to click resources, and we're going to. I'm just going to search for the clear DB. MySQL database. So this is an add-on that we can add to our uh, project. Okay. Make sure you select the free one. Okay. And then you're going to submit the order form. And when you submit this, you're probably going to be prompted to enter your card details, which is necessary, I'm afraid. Um, but as long as you select this free option, um, you don't have to worry about Heroku charging you. So just can, um, add in your card details and then submit the order form, or submit the order form then your card details so there we go that's done so I can close this one down we don't need that okay so that's all done now we need to get our database URL so we're going to go to settings then scroll down to config variables so we're going to go to settings and we're going to go reveal configuration variables and here is our database URL. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy all of this and I'm just going to open up a text editor so you can open up Word or Notepad and I'm just going to copy this URL in here. Okay. Now this URL contains the information, information that you need to connect to your new Heroku MySQL database via PHP MyAdmin. So the username is this part here so if you copy that and I'm just gonna make a note of this so that's the username and then the password is this section here so I'm just gonna copy that and then the host is this bit here so where's that EU.net. Okay. So that is the host. Okay, so that's stored for later. Okay, so now we need to configure our PHP MyAdmin. And now this is what comes with uh, your XHAMP download if you if you're new to all this. So we now need to tell PHP MyAdmin that our Heroku database information. Uh, we need to tell PHP my admin our Heroku database information so that it, it can connect to it. So let's open up XAMP and I'm gonna start. Oh, these are already, I did this earlier, so just press start on here, click these two, and, um, and then we're gonna open up the MySQL admin. Okay, and that's gonna open up this thing here. 
Um, okay. And what we need to do now is we need to tell um, PHP my admin our um, our database cred uh, credentials so that PHP my admin can connect to this uh, Heroku database. Okay. So we need to open this file here to do that. Okay. So let's open up. Uh, some files. Okay. So we're going to go to your C drive. Click Xamp, and then you want to click. You want to click on PHP My Admin, and then we want to go over to config.inc.php. So config. Yeah, this one here. So config.inc, and then it's a PHP file. So open up that. I've opened it up in via, uh, VS Code. Okay. And then what you want to do is go down to the bottom of this file. And I'm just going to copy in this um, this code here. Okay, so make sure you're within the PHP tags. And what you need to do now is change this stuff here. Okay, so I need to change this to our app, our new app credentials. So we've got the host name here. So this was our host. So copy this in. And then change the username for your remote server so this was the username copy that in and the password we copy that in as well okay then just keep this as config save that okay so that's saved our new uh, database information is in there so now we can connect to our Heroku database. So if we refresh this, we can see here that we now have this little thing appeared. Okay, so now we can connect to our uh, remote database. Okay, so select our database. And there's a problem here. So maybe I didn't copy the, these uh, variables incorrectly. Um, ah, yeah, I didn't. Sorry that. Yeah, the username is just this bit here. So be careful when you're copying that. I accidentally copied the username and password. Okay, so I just need to get rid of this bit here. Okay, so now we've got the username correctly in. Hopefully this will now connect. Refresh. Select the database. And hopefully there we go we're all connected up okay so let's go to the next part of the tutorial let's see what we need to do next so we've selected the Heroku database um, and then you can go over to um, your databases and you can create a new database so you can create new database here um, so just press create um, Oh no, so you need to select the database. Okay, so it's this one here, this Heroku database. And then we can create some tables. Okay, so now we can create tables in this database. Okay, so I'm not going to do that because this is not a MySQL tutorial. But now you can create and configure your database um, for your uh, remote uh, app. Okay. So next we need to connect to the Heroku database from PHP. So we've connected to the database from PHP My Admin, but now we need to do it from our PHP app so we can actually access the data and render it to the screen or wherever we want to do. So we need to copy the code below into your Heroku database configuration variables to your app and this will connect your app to the database. 
So let's copy all this. And I'm just going to copy it here. Okay. And what this is going to do is it's going to load um, your um, your Heroku database credentials into the app. Okay, so it does it automatically for you, and then it will connect to the database here, and then you'll be able to do whatever you want with that data. Okay, or you post to the database wherever you're doing. Okay, so that's it. We've deployed a PHP project to Heroku, made a remote. MySQL database, configured the database using PHP MyAdmin, and finally connected our app to the database. So hopefully that was helpful. Let me know in the comments if you've got any questions. Uh, subscribe, like if you want to see more videos like this, it would really help me out. Thanks for watching guys, and I'll see you later.